Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started in earnest on uh, building our base here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can shoot this bird. <laughs> there, we got him. Sucker. Gotcha. And I have no stamina to get your feathers. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our pick. Uh, because if you did, if you uh, watched the last episode, we killed Edgar in that episode. It was uh, a little bit more of a challenging fight than I was uh, anticipating, but we got it done. And so let's make our antler pickaxe here. Awesome. Okay. And I'm going to put that actually down in the V slot here. Uh, so let's get that out of there and we'll put the pick in V where all of our tools are located. And let's um let's just put the rest of these antlers in here for now, I guess. Oh, that bin is full. That bin's full too. Okay. And I'm gonna put this extra torch in there. And the feathers can go in there. Okay. All right. So, um, the first thing I want to do here is, what do you want? I've crafted a pickaxe. Yes, I have. Okay. Go away. Okay. So what we need to do is, uh, we need to finish leveling, uh, or no. Oh yeah. I need stone, but now we have a pickaxe so we can get stone. You know what we should actually do first? Um, let's just run over to the black forest and see if we can find ourselves a copper node. Cause that would be amazing if we could find a copper node. Um, but if we don't, we'll at least mine some stone up. I think this is one of those places where there's some buried treasure, but if you don't have the little detector thingamadoodle, it's kind of a crapshoot to find it. But, you know, one thing that could happen, though, if we attempt to dig for it, is that we would get some points in picks, and we would probably get some stone, too, so we could accomplish a few different things all at once. So let's do that first, because we might find something really cool in the process. Okay, so... We'll start digging at this end. This guy's gonna need his ass kicked. This bow sucks so bad. Alright. Let's see if we can find the treasure and get some stone in the process. Well, there it is. My goodness. That was lucky. Uh, silver necklace and some amber pearls. That we can use for the, the trader. Okay. Let us move on then into the black forest. We killed him. Oh, we should probably buff up, too. That's a good idea. Okay, there's some tin. Um, should be able to mine that. Why not, right? Cool. Okay. Well, we got the attention of this asshole. Down. 
Kill the next. All right, there you go. Oh, you know what? I just, something just occurred to me. The V key, which is what the mod uses, is what's turning off my um, auto pickup. We are encumbered too. That's not good. Uh, can we get rid of this? Yeah. Okay. We got to go back and. Yep, you found some ore. We need a smelter and all that good stuff. Let's go back and drop stuff off and then we'll come back here again. Oh, no, we don't want to pick any of that stuff up or it'll encumber us. Nothing to go in there. Uh, we can put that in there. Oh, we got a. F uh, oh yeah. Okay, we can put amber in there. Do I not have? Nope. I guess I don't have any. Uh, whoops. Of the boar hide in there. We put the ore in there and the stone. Oh, that's why I I I loaded up on a bunch of wood to start our our building. And that's why I'm getting heavy so quick. But. It occurred to me that if we let's look at something. Okay, we can make it. We need to make a chopping block and a tanning rack, actually. And I think that. One or one of these will allow us to. That improves the workbench. Uh, and after we do that, that, I think that might allow us to make the better arrows. I'm just still trying to remember how all this stuff works. Okay, so what did we need for that again? We need ten flint and ten wood. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can make that first. I'm gonna uh, go around and just gather up a bunch of flint. You know that's kind of rude, dude. Damaging our crafting bench like that? What the hell? They almost broke it. Okay. We now should be able to make the uh, chopping block, wood, wood cutting block, whatever it's called. There we go. And we got a boar here. Oh no, that was a deer. That's even better. Okay, let's make this, and we'll just put it right there, and that should upgrade our workbench. And now we can make flint arrows and fire arrows. Very nice. Um, and we can make leather. Oh, nice. We can make leather armor. It's going to be better. Okay, so let's grab out of here, I think, all of this deer hide. Oh, we got some fish. Hook that up. All right. Um, let's make the leather tunic and the leather pants. How do I? Uh, oh, there we go. We got to right click on it. Okay. Look at that. Nice. Got better armor. I must have a... Uh, I must be pulling from my chest with these mods. Because it's uh, not... Uh, 
Doesn't seem to be pulling the fish. All right, so let's just put the fish in there. I don't think we need these at all anymore. Well, maybe we should hang on to them in case we get killed and we need a backup. A backup situation. Yeah, I think one of my mods must be pulling raw meat from the chest. Okay, so let's put the deer head in there. Uh, the deer hide can go back in there. Feathers. Go there. So we have four boar hide now. Yeah, I've got these three pieces of raw meat in there. I don't think anything's in those. Yeah, that's exactly what it's doing. I wonder why it prioritizes those over the fish, though. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Okay, it won't let me cook the fish at all, so that means I'm, I need some other kind of cooking implement for that. Fair enough. Man, it's just been an absolutely shitty day. I don't even know what time of day it is right now. Um... Okay, well, let's, um, I, I think it's probably too late for us to be heading to the Black Forest now. What, uh, what, what would it take for me to make this? We need 15 flint, 20 leather scraps, and 5 deer hide. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, I'm going to have to go hunting. We only have one deer hide left now because we made the, all the armor. All right, well, let's do this then. Um, let's see if we can... There's a couple little holes here I need to try and fill in. Out of stone already. All right, so it said we to say we needed twenty five or fifteen flint. Fifteen, okay. Well, it's for all intents and purposes nighttime, so I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I actually just went out yesterday in game uh, during the day and just did a whole bunch of hunting. And I got everything I need to make the tanning rack except for the boar hide. Um, I still, where the hell is that even at? Yeah, I got like 20 deer hide, but only have eight boar hide. I've got all the flint needed as well. Um, why is my, why are my buttons all screwed up there? Um, so, yeah, I, but I, I need 20 leather scraps. That's the, the thing that I'm missing. And so I'll have to keep working on that, but I want to get going on, uh, at least get started with the base here. Uh, so it just turned morning and it'll lighten up here pretty quick. So the basic idea for the base here, I think, is what we're going to do is... Uh, we'll probably do kind of like a long portion and then a couple smaller wing portions. I think that's the that's what we're gonna do, and then and then we'll probably put like a the garden out in the back here, and then down here um, I'll probably f also flatten this out later, and we'll build a dock when the time comes. So first thing I have to do is build a new workbench because the damn um, grayling fuckers or whatever they're called came along and broke my bench. Rude. Rude as hell, man. Okay, so put that down. And I, I like to put all of my 
houses in this game up on foundations. Uh, so let's start with the one meter pole. And I think We'll make, yeah, maybe we better come back just a little bit. Let's start with that and then we'll go to the floor. Um, can't we get that to, s to snap? Toggle snapping, left ship. I'm pressing left ship, shift, but it's... Doesn't seem... Oh, cycle snapping, Q and E. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Can I... Can I raise this out a little bit more? Yeah, it looks like I can. Okay, good. And maybe even just a little more here. That's better. Put that there. Okay, so when it turns pink like that, I guess that means it's starting to lose structural integrity. So let's put another one of you in, like that. Okay, let's keep going this way. Trying to eyeball it here a little bit. Yeah, I don't think I want to go any further out this to the right. And maybe. Yeah, I think we're good on that. So let's put another down here and another one of these down here. don't think these are evenly spaced, though. That looks pretty evenly spaced, I think. Okay, so that'll be the width of, of the main hall. Right. Okay. Now, um, let's go get the floors out and we'll just start building back this way. How the hell did that happen? Must have overlapped something. Uh, let's 
weird. Right, yeah, right, I think the, right there is where it got screwed up. I'm not actually sure, I guess. So we'll just take that down. There's a, a seam. Well, maybe that's not actually a seam. Yeah, see that turned out correct. All right, so I think we'll go back another row and then we'll put some more supports down. Yeah, because these are starting to kind of turn pink, pinkish, orangish. Put that there, this one here. All right, we have one right here. We have one right here. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so that's four foundations back. <clears throat> so now we're going to do we're going to yeah, we're just going to keep going back. Wish we had the little bit larger floor pieces. Out of wood. I'm gonna have to move this too. Um, let's go to workbench, and we'll put the workbench up here. And okay, let's go see how much wood I have left. In there, not in there. Got a little bit more in here. These are still both empty. All right, so this one goes here. This one goes here. And this one goes there. Excellent. Okay. Now, I want to do something here. That's one, two, three, four, about five tiles-ish to the edge of the thing. This side, though, is one, two, about three tiles. So that means <clears throat> we either need to bring the entire thing over this way, one foundation, or we need to raise the ground up over here a little more. I think I'm inclined to try and raise the ground up a little more, maybe. Okay, we're gonna have to fill that in. And definitely gonna have to fill that part in. All right, so do we have more stone? I've got eight pieces of stone in there. It's not very much. Let's see what we can do with it, though. Okay, we got that much done. 
Um, also, I talked to John, our server owner, and he's gonna he's gonna make the days a little bit longer and the nights a little shorter, just because it's really difficult to make videos when it's dark a lot. So hopefully that'll happen. Okay, I think that's pretty good there. It's not necessarily perfect. One, two, three, and four. And there's still a little bit of a pathway even after that. And this is one, two, three, four, and still a little bit of a pathway after that. Okay, that's pretty close. It's close enough. Close enough. So now I think I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the wings out this way. I think this first row here is going to be a porch. So the wall, the front wall of the house is actually going to start on this seam here. So we'll have the long section four and then the wing will be four and then we'll continue the long section this way. And then of course we'll do the same thing on this side as well. But it looks like I am out of wood, which kind of sucks. Okay. Um, so, guys, I think, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go out and cut a bunch of wood. And then after I'm finished doing that, I'm going to go cut some wood. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to go cut some wood. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that way, so we, you know, when we start the next episode and continue working on the base... Hopefully we can get a lot more done without having to worry about running out of wood and stuff. And I'm also going to continue hunting for boars and deer and, you know, whatever else uh, to try and build up our uh, leather scraps. And then, uh, yeah, so the plan for the next episode will be to, to keep working on the base and, uh, you know, see if we can get this thing built and looking good. I'm excited, though. I think it's going to turn out to be pretty nice and like I said we'll probably make this back area a garden I might even try and cut back even a little further or either that or maybe we'll we'll do like a little terrace kind of thing and, and raise it up and come back this way a little more so we'll just kind of see how that comes together anyway um, it is once again getting dark and so I'm going to let you guys go here Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.